Welcome to Darth Hawk Gaming. So this video is going to be a history lesson. <clears throat> so we've been told that <clears throat> Adolf Hitler's Nazis were from the far right. I'm going to present the idea in this video that no, they're from the far left. Okay. <clears throat> So, it, it's a historical fact the Nazi party <laughs> was a national socialist party. Socialism, okay. And what does USSR stand for? Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, okay. Now, <clears throat> thing about socialism is like there's a welfare system. Did the Nazis have that? Yes, they did. Uh, but uh, they they kept meticulous records about people, and you can only get welfare if you were of Aryan descent, and uh, you were all in with uh, what the Nazis were doing. And you didn't have um, defects. Uh, you know, you fit their crazy uh, ideological view of the perfect human being. So then you could get welfare, but they kept records of everybody. <clears throat> so that's another hallmark of a socialist uh, system is welfare. And so yeah, they had health care. Um, now, <clears throat> what else did they have? What else did they have? Okay. Uh, well, socialist system hates entrepreneurs. They hate small business. And the Nazis declared war on small business owners. In October of 1937, a law was passed uh, in Germany that uh, any business that had uh, less than 40,000, uh, you know, the German currency less than 40,000 German currency and capital was dissolved. It could no longer operate. And new businesses could not be formed unless they had at least 200,000 uh, in German currency capital. So uh, again, another similarity to socialism. Uh, and uh, Eventually, the uh, the uh, government uh, under Hitler moved, um, not at once, but did eventually get there where your business could not operate in Germany unless you were allied to the Nazi party. Okay. Eventually, it got there. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> that's what socialism does. Okay, socialism... Uh, gets involved in day-to-day -day activities, states involved in day-to-day -day activities, tells you what you can do, tells you what you can't do, um, and just there's really no privacy at that point. Uh, in 1933, uh, Germany enacted the, I think it's the Malicious Practices Act, uh, <clears throat> that allowed the state to imprison or execute political opponents. Uh, and uh, 1934, <clears throat> it was called the Treachery Act, that uh, killed freedom of speech. You are not allowed to say anything uh, bad about the Nazi party unless you didn't want to be alive anymore. Uh, <clears throat> So, 
And uh, these things are very similar to also the way the Soviet Union operated. Very similar. Uh, so yeah, Hitler was all against communism, but he ran uh, Germany. Um, very similar uh, to the Soviet Union. Very similar to a communist state, except it was based on um, race. Uh, <clears throat> and um, so, you know, it's just a dictator, dictatorship. Uh, and we're seeing that's the way that uh, communist China has gone. It's no longer, communist China is no longer communist country. It's now being run by a dictator. And that's that's what the far left does. That's what they do. They come up with, I mean, communism is like, oh yeah, you know, everybody owns everything and and uh, <clears throat> like, oh yeah, communism is not supposed to be any rich, it's not supposed to be any poor. We're all supposed to be equal, supposedly, but there has to be someone at the top an individual or a group who has a census of where everybody is and what they own and so they can collect it all and divvy it up to the population and guess what? Since they're in charge, they get all the goods and everybody else is poor. That's how communism operates in reality. And we've seen it time and time again. Every communist nation, uh, every far left nation always ends up being a dictatorship. Always, always, always. <clears throat> so, yeah. Soviet Union, communism, far left. Nazi, national socialism, far left. Communist China, far left. And what's going on in America? Well, uh, there's, if you look at the United States Constitution, there is no executive order. Okay, that's not a thing. Um, any president signing an executive order that's illegal. They should be impeached for that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the reason we have the uh, Congress and the Senate is they're actually the most powerful uh, body in the United States government. They're the ones that pass the laws. It's supposed to be anyway. Okay, the United States government was set up so presidents do not pass laws, but that's what's going on. As we've seen presidents signing executive orders, making laws. That's, no, that's not how it works. You don't have a democracy when you have one person who has the power. Um, and um, because the Congress and the Senate are elected directly by the people. And that's where the power is supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> and so, <clears throat> and we've seen that the left in the United States of America is moving steadily towards a dictatorship style of government. And that's why I bring this up. <clears throat> and you can disagree with me, but uh, I'm I'm saying that, uh, yeah, uh, I believe the Nazi party in Germany, <clears throat> far left, not far right, far left. And we've seen throughout history, the far left always ends up in a dictatorship. So yeah, uh, presenting this idea, uh, feel free to leave comments below, whether you agree or disagree. And thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.